Hi there, we're in our history book and we're going to be reading about John Glenn and Neil Armstrong on page 423. Two small boys, many miles apart, discovered their love of flying when their fathers took them for their first airplane rides. John Glenn was eight years old and Neil Armstrong was only five years old when it all began. These boys had no idea that they would grow up to become pilots as well as pioneers of space. John Glenn, growing up. Red, white, and blue flags lined the streets and storefronts of a small town in Ohio. As the marching bands played in the parade, John Glenn Jr.'s heart swelled with pride. He loved the flag. He loved his country and wondered what he could do to serve the United States. He could not have imagined that the world would soon watch as he soared into space, not once, but twice. As a young child, John loved building model airplanes. He found jobs washing cars and he sold vegetables to earn extra money so that he could buy his own bicycle. He delivered newspapers in his neighborhood. Wow, so he sounds like he was a hard worker, even when he was young. John had big dreams that included flying. I'm on page 424. While John was in college, he learned about a program that would allow him to take flying lessons for free. He quickly enrolled in this class and learned to fly. On December 7, 1941, as John listened to the radio, he heard about the bombing of Pearl Harbor Navy Base in Hawaii. He enlisted and served his country in the U.S. Navy as a pilot during World War II. Next, Mr. Glenn served in the Korean War. He flew a total of 149 combat missions and received many awards for his faithful service to his country. In 1943, John Glenn married his childhood sweetheart, Annie Castor. She supported him in his desire to fly and encouraged him to keep doing what he loved. He left the military but he still loved flying. He became a test pilot and eventually set the speed record for the fastest flight across the United States, the continental United States. The special plane flew at 725 miles per hour. The flight took only three hours, 23 minutes, and eight seconds. Astronaut. John Glenn was one of seven men chosen by NASA to be the first astronauts. These men trained hard. Mr. Glenn was disappointed when he was not chosen to be first or even the second man in space. He was finally chosen for the third mission. I'm now on page 425. John Glenn would be the first American to orbit the Earth. On February 20th, 1962, Friendship 7 launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida, and soared into the sky. Soon Mr. Glenn was in orbit. What a sight! He orbited the Earth three times in about five hours. During this trip, he was able to see three sunrises and sunsets from space. But Friendship 7 began to have problems. The heat shield on his spacecraft looked as if it might fail. This could cause the spacecraft to catch on fire when it re-entered the Earth's atmosphere. Mission Control wasted no time in getting Mr. Glenn back to Earth. Flames covered the space capsule as it sped through the air, but the heat shield did not fail. The capsule landed safely in the ocean and was soon back on land. During his mission, John Glenn spent only a few hours in space, but it had been a success. John Glenn became an American hero. Even President John F. Kennedy visited him. Many parades were held in Mr. Glenn's honor. 
people waited for hours to see the first man who had orbited the Earth. John Glenn hoped to return to space, but President Kennedy wanted to keep this new American hero safe. He would not travel back into space, at least not yet.